This video was brought to you by the WhatNot app. Today I'm opening up a pretty big Funko Pop mystery box. This is a good sized box, 17 by 12 by 12. This is gonna be full of pops. Let's just get right into the details. This is called the Boom Loot Epic Vault and Exclusive Grail Mystery Boom Box. Three pops per box. Total of three mystery boxes per customer. There should be a total of nine, nine pops in here. This is a lot of packaging for nine pops. Hope I'm looking at the correct thing. Let me actually verify this. Yeah, that is the correct thing. That's a lot of packaging for nine pops. But here, all the details. Each boom box will contain three pops for $195 per box. So that breaks down to like what? $65 a pop on average, right? Yeah, that's ooh, kind of expensive, right? Gotta be some good stuff in here. You get three pops every box per, uh, three, three total boxes in this one box. The lowest value at the time of packaging is $195. The time of packaging was November 13th, 2023. So that's roughly like what? Five months ago, right? Four or five months ago-ish. So values have fluctuated since then. If you've been watching me for the past at least eight to 10 months, you've seen value of Funnel Pops keep going down, 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 down. Just today I found another Grail that was worth over $600 about a year ago is now down to around $200. It's that, that's what it sells for. A Grail that has lost that much value. In just a year's time but that's 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 happening to a lot of pops now but everything is near meant to make condition should be no damaged in here here we go hopefully nothing's falling too far in value hopefully okay so we have three boxes in here nice packaging a lot of extra packaging too i should should say weight wise It's actually the lightest one. Let's do a light one first. They all feel about the same. I know most of the time they don't put anything to pop protectors, but everything does come double boxed with the box and then the sorter box. So everything is double boxed. And nothing should be damaged from shipping because none of the actual boxes have any damage to them. Here we go, we got nine pops total. Let's get moving. First one, I see SDCC, convention exclusive. They say it's worth 60 bucks a day of packaging. I won't be shocked if this has fallen some. This is 2020 SDCC, actual con sticker. Even though the con that year did not exist, they canceled it. So if you bought from the phone shop, you had a 50-50 chance of getting a con sticker or shared sticker. Actually, let me keep this out. Got to look up prices still, right? Here we go, pot number two. Usually the middle one is the better one in each box, I think. Number two. Conor McGregor, nice hit right there. This is worth, actually has no value on this one. This one is like, a, I think it's a pretty much a grail now. I have no idea the value of the Conor McGregor, but these are extremely hard to find now. 2016 pop, actually February 2016. So this is over eight year old pop now. It's long vaulted, really nice shape. That's probably a pretty good value right there. Pretty good value, here go, last one. Is that Scooby? That's, or Scrappy. They're saying it's worth 140. Really? For Scrappy? It's not even that that old, really, is it? A 2019? Let's find out PBG values on the HobbyDB app. Let's see what values are worth today. I'm kind of worried, though. First pop, Toucan. They packaging 60 bucks today, $29. Once again, it's fallen half in value in the past five months. That's very, very common now with Funko Pops. It's scary, but very, very common for a lot of Pops to be worth half what they were worth a year ago, six months ago. Next. Conor McGregor, $50. I bet you six months ago, eight months ago, is worth quite a bit more. Looking at the Hobby DB app, the trending sales. I actually stay pretty consistent. July of last year, it was around high 40s, low 50s. So actually, this is, this is stay consistent. Hasn't lost any value. So that's a positive. Last one, once again, it's lost crazy value. Like all Funnel Pops now, they're just dropping in value like crazy. It was worth 140 back in November. 
today it's $95 it's lost how much would that be almost 30% in value in the past five months Wow plus 95 so first box I bought it for 185 now it's worth 174 the day of packaging it would have been worth like almost like what eighty dollars above that would have been about a 250 dollar box eight months or not eight months like five months ago so in five months it's lost that much value Ooh, scary it's very very scary what's happening to Funko Pops I've, I've just been seeing this trend now since early last summer and I've been talking about it openly on my YouTube channel and, I'm, and I've gotten blasted for about talking about this openly about the values of pops are just plummeting especially grails it's it's worrisome that I mean I've told collectors if you're smart you would get rid of your collections now just dump them because values are, are not doing well Funko as a company right now is not healthy their stock is in the gutter I don't know I'm not, I know I'll probably get blasted for saying that again I've got a lot of hate emails and messages telling me to keep my mouth shut stop talking about the values of Funko's going down but it's true I'm not lying what is this thing S Espeon a flock Espeon they had no value on it uh, of the day packaging that's kind of nice though when they put the value on the day of packaging you can kind of see how far it's fallen in the past five months second one what is that oh what is that Freddy bowling trophy 2023 it's gold I have no idea much things worth I've never had this pop before so last year's SDCC gold bowling trophy, not numbered, by a little bit of value. I, 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 know, I can't even estimate the value of that pop. No clue. Last one. Box. Well, that one's in a pop protector. Sweet. We have Eustace Kid WonderCon sticker exclusive. It was like five months ago. This thing was a pretty big hit for them to put it into a pop protector because they usually don't do that. One piece though has held value pretty well because it's such a popular. Sh actually, they're saying it was worth three fifty day of packaging. So nice. We actually can see what the values have done this pop the past five months since the TV show came out on Netflix. The card game has come out. The TCG game for for One Piece. It's super popular. So I'm, I'm very curious what the value of this pop is done. But let's see these three values. First pop, Espeon, coming in at 30 bucks. Not too bad. Pop number two, the Freddy Bowling Trophy is worth $19, so not much value for the Golden Freddy Bowling Trophy. Last one, it happened again. Again, Grails are falling in value so quickly. Back in November, it was worth 350 bucks. In April 2024, now it's coming at $240. It's lost over a hundred dollars in value in the past five months. That's scary. It's happening to everything, but still, this is a fantastic box coming at two eighty nine. So that was actually one of their bigger hit boxes. But what stinks is a year ago, or not a year ago, back in November, was it December, December, February, March? Yeah, about five months ago. This would have been like a four hundred dollar box. This is probably this is probably one of the top boxes right there. Four months ago, now. It's just 100 bucks above what the box costs. How crazy is that? Actually, let me put this one into this one without the bubble wrap in it. I mean, they're still fantastic pops, but... Every video now, you, you, you keep seeing this. I know most Funko Pop YouTubers aren't talking about this openly, like how I've been doing it now for months and months and months. But yeah, the this is not Funko's not doing well. Value's not doing well. There actually have been some collectors have reached out to me and have told told me like you know they haven't looked up the value of their entire collection in months and they just looked it up and they've lost thousands of dollars of value and I'm like yeah you you should have sold it about a year ago. Two years would go would have been best. But here we go next one. What is that? Chase. Red Hawk Luffy. One piece nice. I'll take another one piece. These sell very, very well. Everybody always asks for a one piece in my whatnot live auctions. Actually, my next whatnot auction is going to be this Friday night. 
April 12th at 8 p.m. Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday of this week is what they're going to call What Not Con, which is the biggest online convention of the entire year. There's over something like 2,000 exhibitors. There's uh, going to be just crazy amount of deals and giveaways all throughout whatnot and they asked me to participate in it so this friday night at 8 p.m april 12 2024 i'm doing my whatnot con auction i'm doing probably like a half dozen giveaways over 200 dollars in free giveaways so make sure you come out friday night eight o'clock over 200 dollars in giveaways i'm doing on my whatnot auction for whatnot con this friday night i will be live for several hours selling and once I'm done selling, check out the other people selling all throughout whatnot and collectibles. Because I actually will be myself this weekend to see what kind of deals and steals and what kind of giveaways and everything that's going on. There's, there's actually, I think there's supposed to be like special guests that will be coming on to certain people's channels. Maybe some celebrities or something. I'm not too sure all the details of it. I guess we'll find out as time gets closer or the day of. But there'll be a direct link. In the description box is a video to whatnot, and on the screen right now, you can download my uh, or download the app totally free. Save 15 bucks your first purchase too. So win a free pop from this Friday night and save 15 bucks on a purchase. Win-win situation. Last pop in this video. This is it? What is that? Oh, nice. White Rabbit Black Light 2021 SDCC. Which one's the big hit in this? I'm guessing it's going to be the Luffy, right? Red Hawk Luffy, it has to be. The Red Hawk Luffy has to be the big hit. Let's see PPG values. First pop. King Aragorn, Lord of the Rings, vaulted, coming in at 80 bucks. Not too bad. One of them was worth five months ago, though. Black Light Rabbit. This is the shared sticker, not the con sticker. Coming in at $33. And last one, the Red Hawk Luffy Chase. $60. So actually the King King Aragon was actually the best hit in this box. Today it's only worth $173. So several of these pops have dropped in value in the past five months. Probably all of them. More, more than likely, probably all of them. But $173. So the total, everything, $173 plus $174. Box price was $185 each plus $289. I spent a total of like what $500 and what did I even say? 585 is what I spent and I walked away with 536. So after selling fees of almost $60, I'm going to lose money. <laughs> I'm going to lose money even after, after after selling fees, right? As long as I added everything up correctly. Let me just verify I added up right. 289 plus 174 plus 173. Yeah, 636 cost 585, $60 in selling fees. So yeah. I'm gonna lose money on this, but if I would have sold these five months ago, I probably would have made a couple hundred bucks. But values have pretty much fallen on all these pops. Maybe just one or two haven't lost in value, but most of these have lost value. Some lost crazy value, half off, or like half. The one lost like 30% value, like Grail. So this is scary. This is scary what's happening to Funko. It's, it happens. It seems like every video now, it's every video. Especially whenever they post prices of what pops were whenever this was boxed up. Prices now, it's like time and time and time again. They're not going up. They're going down. Roast me in the comments below if you don't like me talking about it. Roast me if you think I'm full of it. That's totally fine. Either way, I'm just passing on my knowledge, my information, and my years and years of experience selling these things. And I have spreadsheets going back to 2018 of prices. And I'm seeing the trend from 2018. So, anyway... All these we put in the brand new 10 bucks pop pop shield pop protectors or pop armors before I sell these. Link down below at 10 bucks for all your pop protector needs. Let's end this on, on a positive note. How's that sound? Have a good one. I want to tell you a little bit about what not con coming spring 2024. The weekend of April 10th, 11th, 12th, 13th is going to be the first ever what not con, which is the first global virtual comic convention with over 1,200 vendors brands and special guests while attracting over a hundred thousand unique attendees i am actually participating on april the 12th at 8 p.m on friday night 